Hi everybody, this is Algebra 2, Lesson 50. In this lesson, we're going to be going over quadratic equations and completing the square. Alright, a quadratic equation is um, in one unknown has the number 2 as the highest power of the variable. So for it to be a quad quadratic equation, we've got one variable, so 1x, that's our one unknown, is x. And 2 is the highest power of the variable. So the highest exponent we have in here is 2. So this one is a quadratic equation. This one's also a quadratic equation. And so is that because our variable is 2 and we only have one, one variable, x. And the highest exponent on x is 2. We've solved these before um, by factoring. So on this one, we would say something times itself makes negative 2, and then when we add them together, we get 1, so we would have x at the beginning of both of these, and then we would say um, 2, let's see, mm -hmm. positive 2, let me check that one, that was a little difficult, did I write that right? Uh, okay, so we would have to have 2 times 1, and let's see, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 1, so that would be our, our positive would be 2, our negative would be there, and then we set those equal to 0, alright, so then we would have uh, x plus 2 equals 0, minus 2, minus 2, x equals negative 2. And then we would have x minus 1 equals 0, plus 1, plus 1. And we would have x equals 1. So those are the two answers for that kind. Then we've also learned how to do it by taking the square root. So we do the square root of that and the square root of that. And so we would say x minus 2 equals the square root of 3. And then we would add 2 to both sides. And we would say x equals... Uh, 2 plus or minus, now don't forget you got to do plus or minus when you do these because it could be either square root of 3. Alright, so we're going to figure out another method for solving these called completing the square. Alright, so some of them we can't solve the other way. We can't factor this one and we can't take the square root of it, so this this equation right here can't be factored like we normally would. Um, we don't have anything that when we multiply we get negative two, and then we add them up we get positive four. It's not going to work. Um, the only things we can get is one times two, and one and two is three, so that's not going to work. Um, but we can convert it into this form, so we can, can we can change any equation to look like that form. And to do that, um, we're going to have to look at some patterns. So, to complete the square, it's necessary to remember the form of a trinomial that is the square of some binomials. So, if we have x plus 2, when we square that, x plus 2 squared, we're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4, okay? On x minus 5, we get x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now, you're going to start to see a pattern. So, on this one... Um, if we add the 2's together, we get 4. If we multiply the 2's, we get 4. If we add the 5's, we get 10. If we multiply the 5's, we get 25. Remember, that's what, that was the pattern. We add 6 and 6, we get 12. We multiply 6 times 6, we get 36. Add 8 plus 8, we get 16. If we multiply 8 times 8, we get 64. So what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards. And we're going to look at this backwards. So if we take this middle term and we divide it by 2, and then we square that, so we say 4 over 2 times 4 over 2, we're going to get 4 times 4 is 16, 2 times 2 is 4, 16 divided by 4 is going to be 4, okay? We're going to try that with this one. So we're going to say 10 divided by 2 squared, so 10 over 2 times 10 over 2 
equals 10 times 10 is 100. 2 times 2 is 4. We're going to get 25, and that brings us back to our third term. Um, for this one, we would say 12 divided by 2 squared, and we could go ahead and do that. We would say 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, there's our answer. All right, so we take our middle term, and we divide it by 2. That will be 8, and then we square it. 8 times 8 is 64. Take our middle term of 6, divided by 2 would be um, 3, negative 3, and we square it, and we're going to get positive 9. Okay, so you're going to divide your middle term by 2, and then square to find the last term. All right, this pattern occurs every time we square a binomial. This pattern is key to completing the square. So you're going to take your middle term, divide it by 2, and then square it. All right, let's see how this works. So, we're asked to solve x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals 0 by completing the square. So, we've got x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals 0. What we're going to do first is we're going to get rid of this minus 4 by doing plus 4 on both sides. And we're going to leave this spot blank. So, we're going to say x squared minus plus 6x, and then we have a blank that we're going to fill in, equals 4. 0 plus 4 is 4, okay? So, we're going to take our middle term, this is our middle term, right here, and we're going to try to find our third term. So, our middle term would be 6 divided by 2, and then we're going to square that. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So, our middle term right here is positive, I mean, our last term is positive 9. So, to get that, we need positive 9 right there, okay, in that blank spot. To get that, we're going to add 9 to both sides. We can't just add 9 over here. we got to add 9 over here, too. All right, so now we get x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 9 and 4 is 13. All right, now we can take the square root of that, or we can turn this into, let's see, that would be x plus 3 squared, okay, let me show you why, x plus 3 times x plus 3, we're going to get x squared, then we're going to get plus 3x, then we're going to get another plus 3x, and then we're going to get 3 times 3 is 9, so that would be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, is equal to x plus 3 squared. Okay, equals 13. Now we take the square root of that and the square root of that. So we're going to get x plus 3 equals the square root of 13. Now we're going to subtract 3. And we're going to get x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. All right, and that is the answer. So x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 13. Let's try another one. Okay, so on this one, first we have to change this around to the right form. So we want our x squared first. Um, and then we have plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. Now we're going to move this 5 over to the other side, so plus 5, plus 5. And we're going to get x squared plus 2x, and then we leave the blank spot, equals 0 plus 5 is 5. Okay, now we're going to take half of that, so we're going to say 2 divided by 2, and then we have to square it. Okay, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared equals 1, so this spot is going to be plus 1. So we got to do plus 1 over here. Okay. So then we get x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 6. Okay. Now we're going to find out what this is. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 would be x plus 1. Right. Because we had x plus 1 times x plus 1, we would
would get x squared plus x plus another x. And then our 1 times 1 would be 1. And that would be x squared plus 2x plus 1. And we've been doing these. You should be able to see those. All right, so that equals 6. That's squared. So now we have to take the square root of both of these. So we're going to say x plus 1 equals the square root of 6. Now we subtract 1. And we're going to get x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 6. And that's our answer. Hopefully this is starting to make sense. All right, let's try another one. All right, so for this one, we've got solve by completing the square. All right, so we've got our x squared. And now we need to move this over to the other side of the equation. So equals 5x minus 5. We're going to say minus 5x on both of these to get it on the right side. So now we're going to have x squared minus 5x, and then we're going to leave a blank spot, equals negative 5. Okay, so here's our middle term, and we're trying to get our third term, right? So our middle term is here, and we need to get our third term. So we take our middle term, and we divide it by 2, and then we square it. Okay, so that means 5 over 2 times 5 over 2, which is going to be 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 2 is 4. 25 over 4. So we have to add 25 over 4 to both sides. And we're going to get x squared. Hang on, that's sloppy. Let's try to get it a little neater here. Okay, we're going to get x squared minus 5x plus 25 over 4 equals, now we got to add negative 5 and 25 over 4. Um, so this will be negative 5 over 1 plus 25 over 4. And if we made this into force, this stays the same. Um, 1 times 4 is 4, so 5 times 4 is 20. And remember, this top one's negative. That's negative 20, positive 25. I'm going to have 5 left. So 5 over 4 is what I have on this side. So 5 over 4. Okay. Now, to figure out what this is, we're going to say... What is the root of that? Let's see. So it would be 5 over 2. X minus 5 over 2 squared. Let's double check that. So... If I did x minus 5 over 2 times x minus 5 over 2, I'm going to get x times x will be x squared. x times 5 over 2 would be negative 5 over 2 x. And then I did negative 5 over, that would be that again, so negative 5 over 2 x. And then negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 over 2 would be positive. 5 times 5 is 25 over 4. And I added these two together. 5 over 2 plus 5, uh, negative 5 over 2 plus or no, minus 5 over 2. That's going to be 10 over 2, which is 10 divided by 2 is 5, negative 5. So I'd have x squared minus 5 plus five, 25 over 4. And that's what I've got here. So all I did to figure that out was I took the square root of 25 and I took the square root of 4 and there it is. Alright, equals 5 over 4. Now i got to get the square root of these. So I'm going to have x minus 5 over 2 equals the square root of 5 over 4, and then I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to move this down so we can see what we're doing. Now I'm going to add 5 over 2, and on that side, 
these cancel. My x equals 5 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 4. And then this one we can break down. We know the square root of 4 is 2. So we would say um, x equals 5 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And that is the answer to that one. That one's a little more complicated. Um, but the main thing that you want to remember is going to be set it up in the right format first. Leave your blank. Then take half of that. So divide it by 2. Divide your middle term by 2. And then square it to get your third term. All right, time for the practice problem. Go ahead and try that, pause the video, and then I'll come back and work one for you. All right, and there is only one practice problem. And it says, solve by completing the square. And we've got x squared equals, mm, all right, so I'm just going to rewrite it, x squared equals 9x minus 6. Seven. So the first thing I need to do is move that to the other side. So I'm going to say minus 9x minus 9x and I'm going to get x squared minus 9x equals negative 7 and I've got my blank right here where my third term needs to go. So I'm going to say 9 over 2 times 9 over 2. So I took half of that so I divide my middle term by 2 and then square it. 9 times 9 is 81. 2 times 2 is 4, 81 over 4. So i got to add that on both sides. All right, so I get x squared minus 9x plus 81 over 4 equals, okay, so now I need 7 plus 81 over 4. So I'm going to say 7 over 1, and that's negative 7 over 1. Um, plus 81 over 4. So this is still going to be 81 over 4, but I need to change this one to be 4. So I said times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, and it's negative 28, positive 81. So I'm going to say 81 minus 28. I'm going to get 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 3. 7 minus 2 is 5. My answer would be 53 over 4, and that would be positive, 53 over 4. Okay, now I have to figure out what goes in my parentheses here, what's squared. So I'm going to take square root of 81, alright, so I'm going to have x minus, and I know it's minus because my middle turns negative, square root of 81 is 9, square root of 4 is 2. See, it's that 9 over 2 right there. All right, so if, and to make sure, I can double check that and I can say, uh, 9 over x minus 9 over 2 times x minus 9 over 2, and I can rainbow that out, so I can say x times x would be x squared, and then we would have x times negative 9 over 2 would be negative 9 over 2x. And then right here, I would have another negative 9 over 2x. And then I would have 9 over 2 times 9 over 2 would be positive. 9 times 9 is 81. 2 times 2 is 4. Then if I added these two together, 9 and 9 is 18 over 2. And that just equals negative 9. Okay, so I'd have x squared minus 9x plus 81 over 4. And that's what I've got right there. All right, so that is going to be equal to 53 over 4. Now I'm going to square root it. Okay, and I'm going to get x minus 9 over 2 equals the square root of 53 over, I, I know the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so now I just have to add 9 over 2 to both sides. Need some more room here. And I'm going to get x equals 
9 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 53, 53, 53 over 2. And let me double check that in the back and make sure that is right. Because sometimes I work it wrong and then I have to make a whole new video. Alright, 50, 9 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 53 over 2. So that is the correct answer for that one. Alright, so that is how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square.